Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel today. I hope everyone is doing well, and I have for you a Dollar Tree haul. Yep, we went out to the Dollar Tree. My husband had the day off. I already explained that in the prior video, and when he got done with all his medical running around that he had to get done, because his surgery is next week. He's having his surgery, so... um. He promised he'd take me to the Dollar Trees out of the area today. So we did go, and this is some of the stuff I found, and I'm on the hunt for a whole lot more. And um, he took me to two Dollar Trees, and they were big. They were big, 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 and they had lots of merchandise. They had stuff, and it was clean and organized in both of these places, but huge on the inside. Tons of products, stuff I didn't see, you know, in my local area either. But, um, <clears throat> every Dollar Tree has a lot of the same stuff, but then they get different stuff. It's when they get it, and that's it. So, I was looking around these Dollar Trees, and I'm going to show you what I found in no particular order. Now, I said in the previous video, when I was showing you the cheese, shredded cheese for these manicottis I'm going to be making... And possibly a side salad with them. Well, I also got these. I heard people raving about this so much in so many videos over a great length of time already. These are the Geo's Texas Toast Garlic Individually Sliced and Packaged Breads. This has no artificial colors. Great on the grill. This, it says ready in five minutes. The net weight on this is 8.05. Or 8.04. It's by Geo's. You get, um, did I say five slices? I know it says ready in five minutes, but you get six slices of this in here for a buck and a quarter. So this is going to go with the ant, um, this is going to go with the manicottis that I'm going to be making and also a side salad with them. Yeah, I got this Geo's Texas garlic bread stuff for a buck and a quarter. Now I'm going to open this up, the box. And I'm going to show you. Oh, they're not individually. They're all sealed together. But there they are. See how thick those slices are? They're thick. And they're already done for you. They have the, the butter and the garlic all on them. Both sides is buttered and toasted with the garlic and the other herbs it's on. Yeah, this is going to be perfect for the manicotti and salad that I'll be making. So, got those. I have a feeling I'm going to be buying those more in the future here um, to go with other type of dishes, just not pasta dishes. Okay, then I got me one of these because I usually buy this a lot at the Dollar Tree. Um, any Dollar Tree that has it. I've been buying this for a couple years now already. And I buy it quite regularly, as much as I possibly can, as long as I'm in a Dollar Tree. Otherwise, I get juice at Walmart or at Aldi's. This is the Old Orchard. This is the Healthy Balance. This is just a straight, everyday, straight-up cranberry flavor, which I love. There are other flavors in there. There's a blueberry pomegranate and a couple other things. This is 60, 64 ounces for a buck and a quarter. It is flavored, reduced sugar juice cocktail blend from concentrate it has two carbs one gram of sugar five calories per serving i always buy this this is great alone just straight up cranberry this is good if you mix a little vodka in it this is also great if you mix some orange with this orange juice uh, and cranberry you can make punches with this and add you know a sherbet to the top of the punch um, great with 7-Up, cranberry juice and 7-Up also, a number of things, but I drink this straight up a lot. I love cranberry juice, so got me one of those. I like their apple, too. They have apple, um, juice, and I've had that many times. That's also fabulous. Okay, then, got my husband these. I seen these, there was tons of them in the store, and I mean tons. There, there was two sections in two different areas of the food, food, food aisle. Two big giant areas. It was nothing but these donuts, and they also had cinnamon flavored ones. This is the Duchess 
and they're good until May 2nd, but though they ain't gonna last till May 2nd. But here we get tasty cake in our area, and we also get hostess in our area. But these are the Duchess, they're the same thing. You get six ounces of the mini donuts. And my husband loves these. The powder one, but they also had cinnamon, a buck and a quarter. Okay, usually you get these in the regular grocery stores too, under the names I just mentioned, Tasty Cake and Hostess. Okay, then let me see what I got in this baggie here. This one here, I found two of these treats. Um, now I've had the Andy Caps, I've talked about that in my recent videos. I just found the barbecue Andy Caps. The potato and corn, the sticks, they have the regular cheddar cheese ones, and then they have the barbecue and the hot. And I like the regular ones, regular cheddar. I don't like the hot ones. And I tried the barbecue ones. They're good. But I've also had ranch flavored handicaps. But Dollar Tree does not sell them. But gas stations like Sheets and Turkey Hills and things like that, they got the ranch ones. But I didn't like them after I tried them. Anyway, there was something off about them. But in the Dollar Tree, I found these. Handicaps beer battered onion rings. Corn and oat snack. Instead of corn, it's oat. This is two ounces of the handicap onion rings. Never heard of it before. I just know that they make the fries, but I never knew they made onion rings. So, got a bag of those as a treat. And I live very close to the Wise Potato Chip Factory. My husband actually worked there for some time. Um, he also worked for Hershey Chocolates. My husband's worked for major companies. And um, I just hauled in one of my recent videos. I hauled some Wise. What were they? Wise. Some Wise snack. You'll have to look back in a few videos here. I, I, um, I was showing the Wise I can't remember what they were. There's so many different things. They were something along with the bugles. My husband, for my husband, and he had them. Well, these are also new, and I've seen them in the Dollar Tree, and they say new on the package, which I'm about to show you. These are good until late July of 24. They ain't going to last. They'll be gone. These here are new, and they are 3.5. And as I was saying, my husband worked for these companies, especially the Wise Chips and Hershey. He worked for Hershey for a little over 15 years. He worked in the Wise for maybe, I think, a little over a year. Okay, so Wise's is very close to me. It is in Berwick, Pennsylvania. And every year the, from a little bit before Thanksgiving, about a week or so before Thanksgiving, all the way through Thanksgiving, all the way up to Christmas, past Christmas a little bit. For many, 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 many years, Berwick always puts on a Christmas display on the boulevard, and you drive through it. And when you get about maybe halfway, or just about coming up on halfway, Santa Claus is there and one of his helpers dressed up and you can leave a donation in a basket if you choose to. It goes towards supporting that year after year and you always get a bag of wise snacks. Each person in the car, they'll ask you how many's in the car and everyone gets a snack and it comes right from the plant because wise, the wise potato chip plant is down the street from where this boulevard business takes place. So anyway, these are new. They have new world on them. So they're in the Dollar Tree, but they must be else places just the same. But these are called loose screws. <laughs> loose screws. I right, brought this out and showed my husband because he was sitting in the car doing something when I went into the store. The, one of the two Dollar Trees. My husband was laughing. Loose screws? I said, yeah, that's what they're called. So here's the bag. And right there, it says new. And this is 3.5 ounces, and it's called loose screws. Loose, let's see if I get that a little better. 
loose screws. And you see his hair? Well, his eyes are going wacko. But you see his hair? It's like all springed out into the shape the way this looks like a rigatoni. Uh, I mean, uh, a Rotelli macaroni, the screw macaronis. Well, that's what it looks like here. And then his head, you know, looks like he was zapped by electricity. But these are in nacho cheese flavor. But they are a hard, um, this is like a, it's like a corn chip. It's like all these other companies with the, uh, the twisty kind. I think Frito Lay has something like this too. It, they're, they're called um, tornadoes or twisters or something. It's the twisty corn chip flavored, but instead of cheddar cheese, it's nacho. So I got these for a buck and quarter, and it is filled up to there. And then that you just got a little bit of air, so you're getting, you know, just a little bit wasted package, you know, that's not filled, but it is more than halfway filled. So this was worth a buck and a quarter. So I got the loose screws. <laughs> Okay, then, honest to God, I don't know who thinks of the names for some of these products. I really don't. But here, I ended up getting, let's see here. I finally found this in, in, in one of the regular milks. This is the Modern Pantry by Marcel's. They have whole milk, which I still have not found. Today, I was lucky to finally find the 1% low-fat milk. And many stores that I've been in recently and in the past, I always see that almond and the oat milk. I see almond and oat. But I can never really find the whole milks. So today, I was lucky enough to find the 1% regular milk. This has 8 grams of protein, vitamin A and, and D. It is uh, pantry fresh. It is a quart, 32 ounces. This is great taste, real milk. But it's pantry. You do not have to refrigerate this until after opening it. And you need to use it within two weeks after using, you know, after officially opening it. If you don't... Um, use it all in one, you know, use. So for a buck and a quarter, this is good until the end of January of 25. So this kind of stuff is good if you can definitely find it. Buy as much as you can, put it in your cupboards, a pantry area. That way, if you ever run out of something, this is always there. Or if you can't get out of the house due to some kind of sickness or the weather, whatever it be, You'll always have milk by getting this because it's it is shelf stable for a long time. So, like I said, I got the one percent one today. I actually found it. I'm still on the hunt. There was only one left in this, but there was tons of the oat and the almond milks, but just the regular milk. So, I got this for a buck and a quarter. If I come across more one or whole milk, the whole milk is in the red. I'm looking for either of these two. I don't use the almond or the oat that much. So, um, yeah, I was finally happy to find this. And like I said, there is there is the date up there that I'm talking about. It's good until late January of next year. Okay, so I finally got my hands on that. Still looking for some other products I didn't find, though. Not today, even. Now, this is new to me because I've never seen it before. I don't know if they've ever had it out prior years. I have no idea. This is the Pro Silk Salon, which they carry a lot of this stuff under this name in Dollar Tree. Pro Silk Salon. Shampoos, conditioner, shampoo, conditioner together, all kinds of other products. This is the spray and hair lightener for blonde accents. Six ounces. This is like the Sun In from the 80s that people use. They, I know my girlfriend when I was growing up, um, she had bought the bottle of the actual Sun In from the, whoever made it. I don't remember the company. She sprayed this all over her hair and we were out in the sun every day in a week's time from spraying it every single day and then being outside for hours every day because we were only like 14 or 15 years old at the time, she sprayed all this in her hair day after day. And by 
in a week's time. She went from having medium brown hair to very light blonde hair. But she said that she didn't like the smell that it was giving off. So I don't know because I did not tamper with it. There was no way I was going to spray it in my hair when I was, you know, that age because I had darker hair. I was afraid to know what color it would have changed. So, but she used it. But I got this and because um, I had to go to school, you know, what if it didn't what if it didn't grow enough and get a haircut enough before going back to school? I was worried what the hell people would think of me. So anyway, today I, I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't have that mind frame anymore. But this again is the Pro Silk Salon Spray and Hair Lightener, six ounces for blonde accents, and it tells you back here everything about it. It's a nice size bottle, pretty much the size of the Sun In, which I think you can still buy that in summertime in drugstores, Walmart stores. But um, yeah, this is from the Dollar Tree though. So I thought I would try this. I don't know how, I don't know when I'm going to try it. Before summer, during summer, or somewhere late summer. I don't know when I'm going to get around to it, but I bought it. And more than likely, I'm just going to probably do it around the front. I ain't doing all my hair. Mm -mm. No way. So, um, just see if I can get some highlights around framing my face. But that that's it. I'm not spraying this all over all my brown hair. Mm -mm. But I did pick this up. That's a good deal. Six ounces for a dollar twenty-five of this. Hell yeah. Because the sun in costs is more money. So, got that. And I also picked this up here. They had so many different colors from blondes to brunettes to redhead to, you know, whatever. This is the medium brown. This, they're calling this one medium brown because then there was another one called dark brown. So many versions of blonde. And then there was black and then there was auburns and reds and you name it. But this here is the color, color easy, number three, medium brown, permanent cream hair color. One application... It's in this box. It tells you what to do. It is distributed by American Consumer Products Corporation in Vernon, California, made in China. So I got this. If I don't use it for some of my grays that are coming in, um, thank God I'm not too bad I don't have. Thank God I don't have a lot of grays, but I do have a few. But I might touch them up with this, or I might give this to my husband, since my husband has medium brown hair. Well, he's supposed to, but he's got a lot more grays than me. And he likes to color it his own, you know, it's close to his own natural hair color. He likes to use and, and you know, dye it up once in a while. So, yeah. But for a buck and a quarter, because Walmart has... Um, Hair coloring that, you know, from many different companies, all different prices. But they do have the ones where sometimes you get a single box, but sometimes you get a, a double box. And it's still cheaper than some of the national brand products. Yeah, he buys medium brown. Sometimes he'll buy dark brown. Um, either. And he'll, he, he gets tired of looking at the grays because he's got a lot more gray than me. I only have a little bit, you know, streak here or there, you know, strands. But no, my husband's got more. So... Either way, this will be used because I really don't dye my hair. I don't. I'm just, you know, mentioning that I have some grays, but I normally do not put um, hair coloring on my hair. And I, am, I also don't put tons and tons of products on my hair either, um, other kind of products. I don't use hairspray. My husband does. Um, I just basically wash, condition it, put a leave-in conditioner in it, comb it or brush it and let it air dry. I don't even use a blow dryer. We own blow dryers, but I don't use them. I just let my hair dry naturally. So, um, that takes care of that. All right, then, I got another mascara. Now, the other day, I got a black one from one of these other companies, but I got an L.A. Color one now, unless I got an L.A. Color black and then black from that. Other company, it was L something with the M name with a fancy packaging that's kind of like in pinks and dusty pink colors. Well, anyway, I picked up this one. This is new. This is from the uh, summer collection, the Tropical Bloom, which I got the eyeshadows and lipsticks and stuff like that from. 
Um, this is the Tropical Purple, it is called. It's a purple mascara. Tropical Purple up here. I picked up a purple one. We'll see. I remember ha having purple and like a blue. They have a blue one too. But I remember having purple and blue mascara from Maybelline back when I was a teenager. When I was somewhere, again, around that 14, 15 years of age. I remember Maybelline selling mascara that was in purple and blues. And I bought both of them back in those days. But L.A. Colors has now. They have purple, blue, the blacks, the browns. So I picked up a purple one. If I see the blue one when I go to the Dollar Tree the next time, I did see it, but I only picked up one thing. Next time, I'll pick up the blue one when I come across it again. So, yeah. Needed, a, um, needed to stock up on a few mascaras, so I have them. Not a ton, because, you know, it does go bad. Um... But I bought just a few. I think I have three now. Three newer ones. So, yeah. But if I find the blue one again, even sometime next week, I'll grab the blue one too. But got that. And when it, when it says purple, it, it's not something loud on your on your eyes. It's not, it's not that loud um, and very um, noticeable. It is purple, but, but nothing clown-like. Let me just use those words. Okay, and the blue is the same way. So I'm happy to see something like that back again from reminiscing when I was a teenager. Okay, then I found these, and I don't know, people have found them in all different sizes um, from their Dollar Trees, one Dollar Tree to next. But this is the plus size. This is the body shape where you get one pair in here it is the silky sheer leg sheer toe by Hanes style essential essentialities sensuality whatever this is the 1x 2x black right there people have found medium small small medium medium large large extra large well I got this one I like a little more stretch in it and a little uh, a little more roomy I don't want it Two sausage casing like but this is from Hanes and it's in black and I'll open it up to show you and these are not no buck and a quarter elsewhere Walmart and other places they're they're more expensive in price for the same product so it is in a plastic bag it is in here I thought that I would get this and if I'm going to show you the back see it goes to there it almost looks like boy shorts the length so you could wear this with shorts, under a dress, under stirrup, stirrup pants, stretch pants, whatever. It'll help you if you need some tucking in. So I got those. And um, like I said, I chose the extra large 2X because I like a little more move, movement in it. I don't want to be like a sausage case. So anyway, hmm. I thought it was just the boy shorts. Just this part is the boy short part right here. It actually is full stockings. Black stockings. But they're still calling it a body shaper. So I don't know. So there's your stretch in it. It's, there's a lot of stretch. So you might even want to go up a size like I did. You know, but there it is. There's a lot of oomph. And I do like sheer pantyhose. See how sheer they are? I like I like sheer. I don't like opeg. So, got those. And like I said, um, guess not great with shorts then. Unless you want to wear sh black shorts. You know, with these. Because it's saying body shaper. Oh, it does say pantyhose. Oh, stupid idiot. Right there. Pantyhose. So, um, yeah, when you're in the store, sometimes you can't see everything right. You know, you're, you're thinking about a million different things when you're in the store. Uh, you could be thinking about stuff at home. You could be thinking about oof, all the products that you're seeing in here, trying to make your decisions. And you're worried about other customers coming up and down the aisles that you're in and this, that. So, I'm not an idiot, but I just didn't see the word pantyhose on there. I'm far from being an idiot. But anyway, yeah.
So, got these. But like I said, I like sheer stocking. So, we got sheer here. Okay, that takes care of that. Oh, if my mother was here. If she was still here and alive, <laughs> my mother would be buying up several packs of these. My, my mother was a pantyhose person. She loved her pantyhose. So, anyway, got those. Then, I picked up... <sighs> can use this insert to write on this piece that came out of the stockings. Okay, then I seen a lot of people hauling these and um, they're going like hotcakes in stores. So if you don't get there at the right time, you might miss out. You might have to come back. Um, just, just like other products in the Dollar Tree, but this is the Echo Select Laundry Detergent Sheets. This is not fabric softener sheets. This is actual laundry detergent sheets. This is, again is by the Echo Select. This is easy to use, no measuring, no mess, and dissolves completely. For all machines, including high efficiency ones, 10 loads in here. It is in the scent fresh linen and it's, um, you get five sheets, but you get 10 loads. And each sheet is 6.5 by 3.75. These are going quick. How thin? Not so much waste. That plastic bottles going into the landfill, all that business. Um, it also says here on the back, paraben-free, free of chlorine bleach, phosphate-free, free of 1,4... dioxine whatever that is I don't know um, free of added dyes and safe for the septic and it tells you back here the directions right here where I'm talking right here it says um, use half a sheet for a regular load and use one complete sheet that's a half of a sheet they're showing you a complete sheet a regular sheet, a half of a regular sheet for a regular load of clothing. And for a large load, use the entire sheet. Yeah, and these are distributed by Bay Convert. Converting, Bay Converting Incorporations, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Yeah, so I got these. And um, they are sealed. They're sealed shut here, so let me just open them because I'm curious to know what kind of scent, how strong the scent is. It's saying it's supposed to be fresh linen, so, oh my lord, come on here. I got one that just doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, so again, fresh linen, but I want to smell them. Oh, yeah, they smell really nice. And they're kind of like, kind of like a memory foam material. It feels like kind of like a memory foam. See, they are perforated right there. So you can use half the sheet for a regular wash. One of these for a giant load, both sides. Oh, they smell so clean and fresh. Kind of outdoorsy. Mm, really clean, fresh smelling. They ain't kidding when they said linen fresh. This is not like other linen fresh scents. This is a whole lot of... It's not florally. It's a clean and fresh smelling. Ozone-y. Yeah, so you're supposed to get five of these big sheets in here, but you can get ten loads if you do regular loads. You'll get ten. That way, if you do large loads, you'll get five. But this is supposed to dissolve down. Because it's biodegradable and all this business. So, yeah. I picked those up. And, like I said, these are going like cockcakes. One Dollar Tree I was in didn't have any at all. They were gone. The, the, the box that they sit in was completely empty. The next one I went to had a few and I grabbed one. Now that I like the way they smell, I don't think you even need to add a dryer sheet after this. 
or even a liquid fabric softener. This has a scent all its own. It's really nice. Yeah. I'm going to see how they actually perform for them, though. And then I will make my mind up. I have no doubt these are going to perform well. I will be looking for more of these in Dollar Trees. Yeah. Even though my husband brings home tons of detergent from a from where he currently works for the Dial Purex company. We get detergent for free all the time. Plus, we get fabric softener sheets and we get um, body washes and soap detergent all from the Dial company. But every now and then, I like to try, you know, something new. So, yeah, I'm probably going to get me a couple more packs of these. I like them. I really like the smell on them. I think that's what has a lot of people. But I want to see how well they clean, clean. But I'm not... Um, I'm not Debbie Downing it already. I have a feeling they are going to work really good. Okay, then I found this air fresher. Now, I got the wax melts in it. I showed that in one of my last Dollar Tree hauls. I got the eight-piece Great Sense Orange and Honey wax melts. Well, I got the, frap I got the air freshener now. This is the Great Sense air freshener in the orange blossom and honey limit edition seven ounces you can put these anywhere you need these gel air fresheners you just pull up on the top like this and it is inside no mess and yeah smells just like air fresher. everything with orange blossom honey is out in the dollar tree not only by great sense but on under the um couple different other companies including the crystal water line that's in Dollar Tree's crystal water is a person's name. Um, they have orange and honey body lotion, which I bought. It's in one of my past videos. You'll see everything is orange and honey this year. Orange and honey. And it really, it really does smell good. The orange is not orange like orange juice. It's more like a tangerine. A tangerine has a different smell than navel oranges. Yeah, it smells more like a tangerine orange, if that makes any sense. And then the honey. It's nice and sweet. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I picked me one of these up. I have a feeling I'm going to be grabbing a couple more of these. I like the scent. This will take you all the way through spring, summer, late summer, hell, even in the fall, this type of a scent. Yeah. This is a really nice, but they had other scents to choose from. And, of course, they had the other companies, Airwick and Glade and whatever else they all carry under these. But, yeah, like this. Really love the smell of it. Okay. And then they sell Wizard brand in there and everything else. Now, speaking of the can stuff, this one here is the Wizard. This is a 10-ounce can for a buck and a quarter. They have the can matching candles to this, and I think they have a couple other things matching this. But this is the Wizard brand. This is just pumpkin spice right there. I love anything that has to do with pumpkin and peaches and strawberries and cherries and orange honey. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, got this. You need to, you know, bathroom, bedroom, somebody smoking, whatever, in your car. You want to spray this baby room. Nursery in the house, yeah. Orange, uh, pumpkin spice. Okay, then. <clears throat> I also picked up. These cute barrettes. It's a two-piece set. I don't know how many there are out there. You know, the... the the, um, the combinations, I'm not sure how many, because I got the last two of these in the Dollar Tree I was in. This is a two-piece set of the hair clips. They are fashion mode or mod or whatever. Um, <coughs> these are the, the clip where you squeeze it like a roach clip again. I don't know if you can see. Let me try it this way. See, it's that. It's that. It's that more smaller bread. You just squeeze and you stick it. Okay. Um, these are made for Greenbrier, the Greenbrier business, but these are, um, I don't know if you can see in there. I'm trying to get it in there. Do you see? It's a gold, it's a gold alligator clip. Maybe that's what they call them these days too. I don't know, but it's that kind of a clip. 
it can grab quite a bit of hair and keep it in place. Um, or if you're trying to, you know, do your hair up for maybe a couple days, and you're, you know, with a, a nice jewel or, or braids, whatever it be. Ponytails that, you know, you want to stick something up here. But these are tropical drinks. And they are pretty thick on the side. These things are pretty thick. And then they're glued on to the, to the clips. But this one here, it's two different kinds of tropical drinks. These are really pretty for a buck and a quarter. Okay. And then I got these two, which are completely different, but they're also tropical drinks. And again, they're on the gold clips. If you call these gator clips or alligator clips or roach clips, whatever you call them. I'm not sure, but they're very pretty. And these are the two that I seen, and the only two, and I grabbed them right off the hook. There was no more. So if there's more of these and different styles, you know, teamed up in the duos, you'll have to look and see, because I don't know. But I got these for pulling hair back for young girls, teenage girls, early adult, middle age, like me. Yep, like them. They're very, very pretty. Couldn't pass these up. Okay. Then, speaking of smelly, good smelly stuff again. This here is the Signatures Illuminescence, who makes their um, their candles, their, their tea lights, their wax melts. Everything in Dollar Tree is the Illuminescence. This signature Illuminescence. This is the coconut lime. Two ounces of room spray. I got the coconut lime. Smells really, really good. You need these again. Bathroom, take these with you. Keep them in your purse unless you need to go, if you have to go to a public restroom and it doesn't smell so great in there. Um, or afterwards. You use some of this spritz. Keep it in your purse. Keep it in your car. Keep it in your glove compartment. Um, coconut lime. I'm going to spritz a little. Get it started here. <clears throat> nice spray on it. Do you see that? Yeah. It smells like beachy coconut with a hint of lime. So, got that. These last pretty good. You don't need to use a lot. You know, up to two Squirts is more than enough to take care of the problem. Um, see here, it says shake well, hold upright, and spray into the air one or two times. It might stain fabrics or surfaces if oversaturated. But other than that, yeah. Clean, fresh air freshener with a pump versus under pressure this way. So I got the coconut lime and I picked up another one of the vanilla because I love a good vanilla. Let me tell you, in candles, wax melts, air sprays, air fresheners, even cardboard ones for, you know, for in your car dangling off of the mirror or wherever, um, off the dashboard area if you got something where you can hang it on. Yeah, I love a good vanilla air freshener. Good vanilla, anything that is. So I picked up a second one in the vanilla. It's also two ounces. And again, one or two sprays and, you know, just be careful. So I'm going to spritz this one. This is going to smell good with the vanilla lime. Vanilla lime. I mean, coconut lime and vanilla. Both of them together. Or as well as independent. So let me shake this one up. Get it started. Yeah, it's got that real freaking good vanilla smell to it. So I've got both of those. Okay. Then I picked up some nails. These are the Pretty Woman nails. It says Try Me on the side. It has an opening right here in the case where you can put your finger like that against it to see you know if you like it or whatever the story is that's that why they put it there it does come with the glue 
I'm going to show you these up front. I just love them. They look like an emerald green and white with a little bit of gold in them. Emerald green, a lighter, um, no, there's black in there too. This is a nice, true, dark, emerald green color. Pardon me, I need to get a sip. I thought these were so pretty, I had to have them. These are 24 nails and the glue for a buck and a quarter, and these definitely go for more money elsewhere. So, I got these. I can't wait to wear them. They are, mm, I would say they're a medium length, short to medium. Once you put the whole nail, you know, over the top of your entire nail here, sticking off from it, once it, you know, goes over the tip, I would say they're probably somewhere, no, no more than medium. They're not extra long or long length. They're by the medium. They're very pretty. I, I love the color. I just love that emerald green color. They are. I'm sorry about the glare. Yeah, I had to grab these. There were several of them. They had other ones in, by this name, too. Um, pretty one. They had a variety of others, but th these ones caught my eye right away. So I got those. And then I found this body wash. I don't know what other scents it comes in. I'm probably... I'm sure there's a lavender. I'm sure there's something like a rose or something and a lilac or something. But I didn't look at all the scents. Um, this is by the Spa Luxury line that Dollar Tree sells stuff. This is vanilla sugar scented body wash for a buck and a quarter. It is 12.51 ounces in this nice sized bottle. There's my hand. and Here's the. It's a nice size. 12.5 ounces. And it's just a light golden champagne color. It's tinted, but it's supposed to be vanilla sugar scented. Now, a lot of vanilla sugar scents are very heavy. They're very, very heavy like. Not this one. Mm -mm. And it does have the pop top thing on here to use. Unless you want to take this completely off each time. It's up to you. No, the vanilla in here is more softer and sweeter. It does not have that other traditional vanilla uh, vanilla sugar heavy dose business that's very, very heavy, like perfect for like the winter time, that vanilla sugar. No, this is not like that vanilla sugar. This is more sweeter and it's not heavy and musky and all that. No, this is light and airy and sweet. It smells like a buttercream icing. So I grabbed one of these. Okay, then I got two products from this B color. We got the B pure and we got the B color, which are one and the same. This one here is a little mini ice cream pop. Okay, you'll see mini ice cream popsicle. It is in the scent watermelon. It says watermelon scented. It is um, a cute little popsicle with the stick. And you take this part off to get to the other part here, the whiter part, and your watermelon lip gloss is inside that. Is that not freaking adorable? Is that not cute? Watermelon. Got that. And I seen this in two different colors. One was a like a pink. A soft baby pink and then this one this is again in that um, very dark aqua peacock color that's what I would call this peacock color this is the B color glitter eyeshadow now this eyeshadow is not the regular little tiny squares or the bigger squares this glitter in here is stars moons hearts uh, and whatever else I can't see. It is bigger, but you can see the different shapes. Might be hard on camera. But it's hearts, moons, and stars. It's a peacock color, but it is an eyeshadow by B Color. 
I also seen a pink in this. It was a lighter pink. But this is like this, this is like this peacock shade. I got this. This would be great for, you know, little girl, teenage girl, young woman, middle-aged woman like me. Doesn't make a difference. This is great for getting ready, you know, to go to a party or something. A dress-up party, masquerade party, Halloween. You might want to save it till then. Um, the pot is 0 0.12 ounces. Of the shadow in the case that it comes in. Yeah. I like this color. So I grabbed it. Okay. Then I have this. To me this is new. Altogether this is new to me. I don't know if anybody's been hauling this. or not hauling this. But this is new to me. This here is the Rich Radiance. Now I've bought the Rich Radiance. Facial wipes in the. Shea Butter Coconut. And the packaging color is the same as this. It's kind of like a peach, um, sort of an almond shade. But it's the facial wipes. You'll see them in the store. In the same colors. The peachy kind or almondy color with the dark brown. This kind of packaging. Those colors. You'll see the wipes. The facial wipes. But this is the, by Rich Radiance, which is what this is also. This is Rich Radiance Skin Care. Mango and shea butter moisture with vitamin E. And it's 1.7 fluid ounces. Okay. Then I also picked up, there's four pieces to this set. This is the Rich Radiance also. This is the Coconut and Sweet Almond Glow Oil with vitamin C. One fluid ounces. Coconut and sweet almond glow oil with vitamin C. And it comes in that plastic bottle with the eyedropper. And it tells you, you know, how to use it. All back here. Same thing with the prior product. It shows you. Okay. Then I picked up this one from the line rich radiance skin care this is the vitamin c and grapefruit dark spot treatment with licorice root and this is a 0 0.5 fluid ounce i'm assuming it's a two because this is closed with those tabbies and the same thing down here and unless i can Somehow, no, it's glued. It has those tabbies on too. It sounds like it's a tube. So that one here is the vitamin C and grapefruit for dark spot treatment. For dark spots. Okay. Then the last one in the set of four. This is the dark radiance, or is that what it's called again? Rich radiance. This is the honey. This is the oak. Milk and Honey Cream Cleanser with Ceramides, and this is two ounces. Each one of these was a buck and a quarter, and they're the four that's in the set. So, you got a whole beauty regime going on here, and even to take care of some dark spots that you might have to help lighten them. So, look for this in your Dollar Tree, and of course, then there is the facial wipes to this, which are always available. This is just adding to the line, but the wipes are all, there all the time. I've bought them for years in the cocoa butter and shea, the makeup wipes. So, yeah. So, I got this. I still have a little bit of indigestion. If you see me making faces, it's because I'm having acid reflux at the moment. So, yeah. Check these out in your Dollar Tree. I love all kinds of products that have shea butter and coconut in them. Or cocoa butter, coconut oil. I love all that kind of stuff for anything from hair to skin. It doesn't make a difference to me. I love it all. So yeah, check this out in your Dollar Tree. New. Okay. And like I said, check out this. Check out this spa, um, spa luxury 
12.5 ounces of this body wash. It smells really good, people. I do not like a body wash that says it's supposed to have a fragrance and the fragrance is like somewhere way over in your neighbor's yard. No, I want to smell fragrance. I don't want it dousing very heavy, um, especially a heavy scent. But I want to smell the damn stuff. Even on the lighter scents, I want to smell it. Yeah, this smells so good. I'm not sure if there's a lotion to this because sometimes they'll make a body, they'll make a bubble bath and a, um, a shower gel, and usually they include a lotion. But I didn't see any of that in the Dollar Tree where I was today. Not saying they don't have it, it's just they didn't have it, the particular store I was in. But I'll be looking for more of this stuff because I, lo I love this kind of stuff. I really do. And, um,. It's distributed by Rejoice International Corporation. Yeah, so check this out also in your Dollar Tree. Okay, and I like when my husband takes me to new, 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 new ones. And boy, the ones that I was in today... <gasps> They were gigantic, like I said. They were huge Dollar Trees. Tons and tons of products. Stuff I've never even seen in, you know, my local, local area. Um, or just a little ways away from me going to hometown or up to Buckhorn Dollar Tree. No, where he took me today, they were big. So, I'm going to be revisiting some of those places um, as the weekends come up. And my husband is off, and he's off with his leg with his operation. But um, I'm going to be swimming in those Dollar Trees a lot more. They really got tons of product in there. So this is everything I have, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Like and share. And if you're just watching me for the first time and you like this type of content or you like anything that I do, check out some of my other videos. Hit this notification and the subscribe and the bell. And that way you'll know what's going on on my channel. You'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, if there's something in this video that you liked or already tried and you had good experience, bad experience with it, whatever it be, leave it down in the comments. And I'll get back to you about it. And, yeah, I'm going to go eat the other half of my hoagie from the Walmart story, which was the video before this one. And I'm going to sit back and have myself some more of this cranberry juice. Really love it. And, yeah, that's what I got for everyone. So I will have some more videos coming up in the next several some days. And I'm going to hit up um, a Dollar Tree on the weekend again. Um, tomorrow is Friday. But either Saturday or Sunday, my husband's going to take me to another Dollar Tree. So we'll have that to look forward to, both me and you as a viewer, when you see it. So until then, everyone, be good, be kind, keep your spirit up. I appreciate everyone's support. And, yeah, have a great weekend ahead. Talk to you later, everyone, on the next video. Bye-bye.